Talks about the future of the breakaway Nagorno-Karabakh territory were held today between Armenian separatists and Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan called the discussion constructive, and leaders for both sides agreed to hold more talks. Azerbaijan's government has said it will focus on Nagorno-Karabakh's reintegration into the nation. But the future of the region and the more than 100,000 ethnic Armenians who live there remains unclear. For the latest on this story, let's cross to RFI correspondent Regis Janti, who is in the Armenian capital of Yerevan. Thank you so much for being with us. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about the reaction in Armenia to these talks underway? It's a, it's a bit early. There are no no much um, reaction at the moment from the government side. They try to explain that this is normal. We were going through through this along this last uh, two three years, basically after the defeat during the 2020, and that uh, finally the last and this is the prime minister Nicole Pashinyan who said that that the last uh, uh, obstacle to to sign a peace treaty was uh, was uh, today removed after with these talks. Uh, the fact that the, directly the authorities of the breaker region of Nagorno Karabakh and uh, Azerbaijan are directly talking to each other uh, re remove this obstacle. So this is what the prime minister say. Do, on the the street, it's a bit early. I see uh, that now some. Uh, um, rallies uh, starts to 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 organize themselves in the city. So I would not uh, exclude that tonight there will be some demonstrations because uh, indeed no one is ready uh, to accept uh, the reddition or the the return, let's say, of the Nagorno Karabakh within Azerbaijan, even though no one is able to propose any uh, solution. All right. I mean, it does seem like there may not be a choice for Armenia. It, it appears that Azerbaijan really has the upper hand in these negotiations uh, are what can really be done by Armenia or the regional leaders there? Do they basically just have to accept whatever is handed to them? The lesson, if I may speak so, was given uh, three years ago with the, the 44 days war the, of uh, the, what we call the Second War of Karabakh, and which was lost by the Armenian side. And uh, and even it could have been worse at the moment, but uh, with the negotiation of the Russian president Vladimir what Putin, about the, the Azerbaijan. There? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Please continue. Sorry, the, with, uh, I was explaining that uh, with this war, um, um, Azerbaijan was ready to take military all the Nagorno-Karabakh. But with the negotiation of the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, it was decided that they would not take immediately military the, the Nagorno-Karabakh. And this is what's happened, happened now. But obviously, the difference um, between the military strengths of the two countries is so high that the choice is extremely limited.